everyone. It's been a uh, well. It's, I've uploaded my two videos uh, of 2023, so I might as well continue with the review series. So um, we'll start where so we're continuing off with um, uh, Captain Police or Sergeant Justice. I do not like Captain Police. Like as much as I like Captain Police, it sounds like a fitting name for a cop. I like Sergeant Justice better, because this guy seems more of a sergeant than a captain, but I mean, yeah, might as well, it's your opinion, it, that's my opinion, so. Anyways, that's, um, this guy is one, not one of my favorites, but he is a, okay, he, but definitely kids would love him, like, because, of course, he's a police car, like, kids kind of love to like police cars, but, let's, um, let's get, get into the car mode, so. This is a giant police car. Like it looks like almost like a a supercar. Like you know how some supercars become police cars in um, some parts of the world. Yeah, basically this is kind of that. It looks like a hot rod police car. So you've got um, three exhausts on the side here. You got exhaust in the back. You got a. Um, I don't know what this is called, but the hot rod engine, where the, um, you know, how you boost your speed, basically, yeah. Um, it's a nice little car. I do like how there's two sets of sirens. There's two sirens, the traditional two sirens at the top, and then there's two sirens at the back. I like this one, it's pretty cool. Um, it does roll pretty well. And that's kind of it for the car mode. Um, I'm going to do this Toki here. <sighs> now, if you remember my Big Trail video, this is very similar to Big Trails. Turns into an animal. It's a wolf. Yeah, he's wolf themed. Of course, you got the front and the back legs, and of course, the back legs is just a giant wolf head with um. Can open and close. That's, but I guess that's pretty nice if you're looking at the front. If you're looking at the side, yeah, don't look at it from the side. Just look at like from this end. There you go. But basically, yeah, this is his Toki. You just close it up, and there you go. That's his Toki. We'll put it off to the side. Oh, this is actually a very interesting gimmick. I'll get to this in a bit. Now let's go on to the transformation. So, actually, for starting off, we have to um, split his legs a little bit here. And you'll get, um, this is his gun, which I will show in a minute. Then, what we'll do next is um, we will um, start. Uh, oh, yeah, so you have to get his feet here. You have to bring his feet on these very loud ratchets. And then you come to the, um, the front part of the car, basically bring it down. And then that will loosen everything up here. So you have to click this, bring this all the way up, and then there is a little clip on the or a tab in the back which will turn into a clip. So this will go in like this. And it basically become this backpack, which is pretty cool. So you stand him up, and then you have to extend his like, telescope his legs, and then you uh, pull out his, his uh, heels. Split his legs, and then you'll split up his arms, which are on ratchets. You get uh, fold the back part of the car, then you have to fold it back like this. Then you take, you tell, and then you have to. These arms are spring loaded, so you have to hold them out, bring these forward. These will be his shoulder pads, and then pull out his hands. Same thing, telescope spring, pull out the shoulder pad, pull out the fist, or the hand. Now, now. You get the uh, wolf toki here. Now there are. Um, let's see how did how did this work? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, there's two of these. There's two of these here. These two little prongs. You're gonna go connect them to right here to uh, these little spring loaded bits that will push up the head. So, so yeah, spring up the head and it's a very loud spring. Listen, listen. And then just tab it in. And this is basically Sergeant Justice slash Captain Police. And you get the gun here, you split it out, and um, I think this is like a shotgun. I think this is a shotgun. I'm not sure what type of shotgun. It looks like a pump shotgun because there is a lever here, so it'll. Ch -ch -ch. Then the way this works is that there is two pegs, and then two pegs in his. <sighs> Hands. Yeah, so you just basically collapse them in like this. So, 
you can't really hold it that well unless you bring up his whole shoulders. And he doesn't stand well. Like, if you bring his heels down, there is a very big chance he will fall over. But there is a chance he will stand up if you maneuver him well. This guy also has very beefy legs. Although, when you bend it back, it is very likely for him to topple over. That's why I prefer when my, this, in my display stand, I turn to have him back against the wall, just in case he will not fall. Anyways, um, I guess for articulation, um, his um, head can go around, not 360 because of the stuff back there, but the arms can go around 360. They can rotate in and out, only one click. They can bend at the elbow, rotate above the elbow because of the spring-loaded joint there. And it doesn't have a hand articulation, of course, but the legs... The legs can go forward. He has a skirt, so lift that up. So forward and back, in and out just a little bit. Rotate at the knee and rotate at the toe, but one click only. So that's basically it for this guy. He's a... Um, He's an okay figure. I, I I guess I could recommend him. So um, I guess this is a Captain Police slash Sergeant Justice. I know this is a bit of a short video, but it's he's only one Tobot, unlike Great Admiral and Tank Guy, who are two. So yeah, I might as well. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm reviewing Storm Joe next. So yeah, see ya.